Hey guys, it's Chris. From an abandoned government facility deep in the forest to the ruins of a Nazi encampment deep in the jungle, plus eight more strange, unusual, and creepy things found deep in the woods. All right, here we go. Number 10, Abandoned Government Facility. The most jarring, creepy structure discovered in recent times is actually an abandoned government facility recently discovered deep in the woods by an urban explorer and his cameraman. In a video uploaded to YouTube, the explorer stumbles onto the place in the middle of the forest and just walks right in. He never does share exactly which forest in which state the facility was found, but that might be for the best. This place is so creepy and disturbing that nobody should be venturing out into the forest looking for it. We don't know what this government facility was used for, but according to the urban explorer, it was opened in 1990 and then suddenly closed without warning in 2014. The facility closed so abruptly that many of the offices still had office equipment, personal calendars, and files sitting on the desks as if they'd all just picked up and left. But that's not even the creepiest part about this abandoned government facility. Deep in the basement, there was yellow police tape blocking off areas where it appeared as though some kind of horrifying event took place. It looked like most of the evidence had already been cleaned up, but something strange definitely happened here. The urban explorer even found a giant crate and some mysterious schematics. No one's really sure if this was a secret government lab where something went horribly wrong or if it was simply an administrative building built in the middle of a secluded wood. What's the creepiest thing you've ever found in the woods? Have you ever stumbled upon an abandoned building? Even a shed or hunting lodge would terrify me. Tell me about your discoveries in the comments section below. Then remember to subscribe to Worldlist if you haven't already for more amazing videos just like this one. Number 9. The Headless Toad There's nothing quite creepier than something without a head. There's also nothing quite slimier than a toad. So when a student from the University of Massachusetts discovered an adult toad in the forest of Connecticut back in 2016, jumping around without a head, it became one of the strangest things ever found in the woods. This toad had a body that looked perfectly healthy with legs hopping all over the place. The only problem was that it had no eyes, no nose, and no tongue. It only had a small hole where its mouth should have been. The video of this freakish animal was uploaded online, and luckily some people came forward to help solve the mystery. After all, it didn't make much sense for the toad to still be alive since it had no head with which to feed. According to a wildlife veterinarian named Lydia Frank Linos, the toad could have had eggs laid in it by an adult fly, and when the larvae hatched, they may have eaten the toad's flesh, including its entire head. The fact that it's still alive, though, well, that's terrifying. But how did it survive? It seems like most animals would probably die without their heads, but somehow this creature was still wandering around. It would creep me up big time to be sure. Number 8. Mummified Koala when you think of koala bears, you probably think of cute and fuzzy animals hanging out in the trees and munching on leaves. And while this is definitely true, one person came across what can only be described as a koala nightmare deep in the woods of Australia. A mummified koala was discovered draped across a couple tree branches, blackened and shrunken in an almost sickening way. There isn't much of a backstory about this koala bear, and it's not entirely clear what caused its mummification. However, it's definitely gross. In the picture, it looks as if the koala is suspended in the trees just above some water, so it's possible that salt could have had something to do with the way it's petrified. In any case, it's definitely not a koala bear that you would want to hug. It looks slimy to touch, and it's probably full of bugs and diseases. Number 7. The Giant Web They say everything is bigger in Texas, and this couldn't be truer. Check out these trees completely shrouded in spider webs. It looks like the terrifying scene from The Hobbit when Bilbo is kidnapped by the giant spider, but this is real life. The web-covered trees were discovered at Lake Twakani State Park, about 30 miles from the town of Rollet. Apparently, spiders are able to work together to weave a type of communal web. And this was shocking to experts, because they'd previously thought spiders only made webs alone. The first giant web was apparently found back in 2007, and the spiders who worked together to build this monstrosity are known as the Tetranantha guatemalensis. You have a fear of spiders, this is the last place you should ever visit. Original estimates place the number of spiders inside the enormous web at somewhere around a thousand or more. The only good news is that according to an urban entomologist with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, these spiders are not harmful to humans. 
But whether they're harmful or not, walking into a web filled with thousands of them is enough to give even the bravest soul a giant heart attack. Number 6. The Hanging Coffins There's nothing quite as creepy as coming upon a burial ground deep inside the forest. If you were to visit the Philippines and wander into the wrong part of the woods, you might be shocked to discover a collection of hanging coffins nailed to the side of a cliff face. And yes, these coffins are filled with bodies and bones. Rather than being placed inside of the ground like a normal burial, the Sagada people of the Philippines hang their coffins in the air in a bizarre ritual that's been going on for over 2,000 years. So bizarre to us, but probably not bizarre to them. Apparently, these ancient people believed that if they're dead or hung inside of coffins above the ground, there's a greater chance that their spirits will reach the afterlife. Many of the coffins were found throughout this mountainous region, which is about a 12-hour bus ride from Manila. But of course, you're not actually allowed to climb up and inspect the coffins. If you were to ever make the journey through the forest to this place, it's recommended that you bring binoculars and observe the creepy spectacle from a respectful distance. Number 5. Hot Pink Slugs it's time that we added yet another creepy animal found in the deep woods of Australia to the long and seemingly endless list of creepy animals found in the woods of Australia. But rather than talking about a venomous spider or a venomous snake, let's take a look at a hot pink slug. We already know that snakes and spiders rule the outback of Australia, but apparently a hot pink slug was recently discovered by a park ranger in the territory of New South Wales. This slug is ridiculously big, growing to about 8 inches in length. But what's even more incredible is that these creepy slime bags are only located in a small subalpine area of about 4 square miles. These slugs feed on moss and mold, and the reason they're bright pink isn't just to creep you out, it's so they can blend in with the eucalyptus leaves, which turn red as they fall from their branches. What's really cool is that this small area where the slugs live is home to other ancient species that existed thousands and thousands of years ago when all of Australia was blanketed in rainforest. And while it's still cool, you definitely wouldn't want to touch one of these massive slimy slugs, especially seeing as how they're probably the size of half your arm. Number 4. The Skull from 1986 Let's take a trip back in time to August 2nd of 1986. It was on this day that two workers with the Forest Service discovered a partial skull, a handful of bone fragments, and a tooth near a government camp in the woods of Oregon. The workers handed the skull over to the local authorities, and the Oregon State Police forensic examiner claimed that the skull had been lost inside of the forest for about 10 years, and that the skull belonged to either a man or a woman in their late 20s. But here's where the story of the skull from 1986 gets extremely creepy. In 2005, the Clackamas County Medical Examiner's Office reinspected the skull. Still, there were no leads. It wouldn't be until 2019 when the skull was shipped to the University of North Texas that progress was finally made. Researchers discovered her name and her birth date. It turns out that the skull discovered in 1986 belonged to a woman named Wanda Ann Herr, who had gone missing in June of 1976. Considering this case is around 40 years old, it's really unlikely to be solved anytime soon, but it was still a pretty creepy thing to find in the forest. What's even creepier is that according to local Oregon news, there are currently 163 unidentified remains, all of them skeletal, still active in the state. Number 3. Creepy Phone Booth a lot less creepy than old bones is the random phone booth that was found sitting in the middle of the woods somewhere in the United Kingdom. Nobody has any clue how this telephone booth wound up rusting away in the middle of a patch of trees, but the story of how it got there is pretty wild. The telephone box definitely didn't work at the time the photo was taken, and it was definitely pretty old. The image was posted on Reddit, and someone pointed out that this model of telephone booth is known as a K6 model, designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott and introduced in 1936, crafted from concrete and glass. However, these telephone booths were mostly replaced in 1985. And that means that whoever placed it in the woods probably did so quite a long time ago. But the real question here is, what were they doing with it in the forest? Was someone sleeping in the thing? Was it involved perhaps in a creepy murder? Or is there some backwoods Superman using it to change into his uniform? Whatever the answer is, I'm pretty sure it's disturbing. Number 2. The Ruins of Nazis Deep in the remote Argentine jungle, a creepy Nazi hideout may have just been discovered. These ruins were found in a horrible state of degradation, located inside the Teuquery Park in the north of the country. 
Researchers from the University of Buenos Aires told local news that they found five German coins, each of them minted sometime between 1938 and 1941. They also discovered a fragment of a porcelain plate inscribed with Made in Germany. Of course, all the signs point to this dilapidated ruin having once been used by the Germans of the time. And this isn't really that surprising, considering that after the defeat of the Germans in the Second World War, Many of the richest members of the Nazi party fled to Argentina to avoid prosecution. And it looks like one of their sites has just been discovered. But how long any of these evil people lived in these three crumbling buildings is still a mystery. Yet another mystery is when these secret bunkers were built. It's long been said that high-ranking officers in 1940s Germany had secret projects scattered across the world, deep in jungles, high up in the mountains, and even in the deserts. This could very well have been one of their hidden bases built even before the war. Number 1. Stone and Smoke Usually, if you see a chimney, it's attached to a house, usually inside of the living room of the house. And yet, deep inside the woods of Maine, just outside of Bangor, a couple stumbled upon the creepy remnants of a stone fireplace and no evidence that it had ever belonged to a house. According to the couple themselves, they had wandered a little bit off the trail when they came across the creepy landmark. And the couple was understandably creeped out by what they found, so they went in search of a local historian to see if they could get more information about the chimney. As it turned out, there had once been an old cabin in the forest, but it had burned down a very long time ago. It had allegedly been lived in by foreigners from Finland, who had actually carved the chimney from granite by hand. What exactly happened to the Finnish people living in their remote cabin when it burned down is still unknown, but the fact that their chimney remains standing today to creep out hikers is still kind of amazing. What's the creepiest thing you've ever found in the woods? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thanks for coming by. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back soon for another amazing video.